There's an acid scene, um, if you so choose, and that was a very memorable scene to shoot. It kind of happened over, I want to say, pretty much two night shoots. Yeah, I think so. But then it also kind of like, it, it kind of became back to it as well. Yeah, yeah, because um, we shot the, yeah. the sort of stunt element of it. Mm. But that was one of the most challenging, mm. intense uh, scenes to shoot, and uh, was also really fun as mm. well. Um, so that was a very memorable mm. kind of few days in, in Trellick Tower. It's a hard thing to act tripping on acid unless you are tripping on acid. Mm. So trying to act it without obviously being on acid mm. is quite a challenge. Yeah. Because I think we were quite focused on getting it right, yeah. doing it justice. I think like the reason I said that before about it's hard to, it's the same thing as trying to act drunk because you never really know how you are when you're drunk. Thankfully. Until some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a sort of, it's a sort of hard thing to gauge. Yeah. Um, Finishing it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that, uh, I, said, yeah. I did it with a Ronnie Corbett little eyeglass thing. I um, like, I liked filming the scene, the, what we call the Netflix branch, where you follow Stefan and he is revealed, the fourth wall breaking that he's in a set. We're there on set, watching him be on set. And so it was just sort of, if ever there was a sort of <laughs> meta moment where we thought, we've been going through this, what he's going through, and he's now looking back at us. There was that moment where, all, where the world imploded, and you sort of go, this is nuts. That was a funny moment. All the moments where I wasn't openly weeping <laughs> were the funniest. <laughs> so all four minutes. Um, and walking into the WH Smith. Yeah, oh, the well, yeah, the WH the Smith Croydon, was, that was... Um... And just, you know, it was Christmas time. Oh, no, God, we, no, it wasn't, wasn't Christmas, Christmas time. time. Sorry, it's just the been height Christmas of summer. time. It's just been Christmas time, but we had decorated mm. it as, and it was Croydon, and it all Croydon feels eighties. What am I going to say? But you know, it was just all. It was. It was. It was. It was very evocative mm. of a time. Ooh, there is a scene that is weirdly that you can't access. I think there's a whole scene where mm. it's the third time round that where Stefan meets Colin, and he's. And Colin is going, oh, it's you again, sort of thing, which we shot. And it's sort of in there, but I don't think it's accessible. There's also two extra murders that don't make it in. There's one where you where you get to kill Tucker on the doorstep, and there's one where you get to kill Colin on the doorstep. So, so those are some moments that didn't make it in. There's two different variations, and I don't think it made the final cut, but I haven't done it all. There is a bit where I stab... Colin. Colin, where Stefan stabs Colin, and a bit where Stefan stabs... Asim. Yeah. And I don't think either of them made it into the final cut. And they are like very quick, but there's also a choice within that. Like there, there was a choice point that was discussed mm. uh, on whether or not you can choose to make my character Stefan stab Colin or kind of drop the knife. Mm. Mm. Um, and that was quite a, I, I kind of, I'm surprised it didn't make the cut, but I guess it... And that was quite an intense one for you to shoot, right? Yeah, yeah, You were yeah, in quite yeah. a sort of like, almost like a zombified state at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we had a little cuddle, and that didn't make did, it We did, we did, yeah. Shame. The cuddle didn't make it into the final cut. It's a real shame. Well, there's not big story strands that we shot and yeah. didn't put in the film. I don't think. No, there's not, no, 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 there's not, no. there's not huge things, huge no. things that we filmed that we yeah. cut out. There's a couple of, a couple of minor deaths. A hundred percent, I would, I would love that. Um, I'm, I'm not doing anything provided that um, uh, Black Mirror will have me again and if uh, Charlie and Annabelle are, are, are kind enough I would be delighted to accept that invitation, it would be very cool. It would have to be done right, but yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely, 100%. It would be not a hard work. thing to do a sequel to. It would be hard. Because all the endings for Stefan are very dire. So I guess you could do a sequel with a different character. And it sort of is on an infinite loop in lots of yeah, ways. Yeah, so really, I'm not sure you could see How do you sequel a loop? Tetris. I'd like to make Tetris as a... No, I wouldn't want to. No, that'd be the no. hardest thing to do. Boring? Um, bo no, it would be fascinating. Come on, it's really satisfying, Tetris. When you get to four, you know they're called Tetrinos, right? When you get four, you know, your row of four, that's yeah. a Tetris. Oh, that's so satisfying, isn't it? It's like doing a really big poo. How long have you got? So, yeah, how long have, have you got? Manic Miner. I'm just going to pick one yeah. at random. The most obscure games that no one's going to have heard of. Manic Miner sold millions. Uh, Super Mario. There's been one, but there's another one coming out. I want to see that. 